beautiful people. This right here is one of the smallest houses in Minecraft, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. A little hammer, little chisel, as well as a little paintbrush. I'm gonna show you guys what all of these things do because they do some crazy things. With the hammer, we can actually change the size of the cube. So we're gonna go to the size four because we wanna get under his house as quickly as possible. Now that we're using the little chisel, we can press the C button on our keyboard and we can change it to a grass block and look at what we can do. We can cover the entrance with a grass block so he has no idea that we are building beneath his house. We're gonna make the size a little bit bigger. So let's try a 16 cube. Look at how big this is. Oh my gosh, this is epic. I can't believe that directly above us right now is the noob's house. We did this one time before underneath the famous YouTuber Jelly's house. It wasn't as epic as this is going to be because we have new mods to build our tiny house. With our little paintbrush, we could change the color to whatever we want. So if I wanted to, I could paint this red. This is so cool, man. Oh my gosh. But wait, there is even more. With the little chisel, if we select the hollow option and we set the size to one, we can make a hollow box. So we're just gonna drag this. We're gonna make it kind of big, but look at this. If we hammer inside, we can actually create ourselves a little doorway that we can fit inside. This is so cool. <laughs> I think to fit inside of this, it's gotta be about this. Oh, we're so close to fitting in. Here we go, here we go, boom. Look at that, look at that. We can also make super tiny furniture. I'm not the best architect, okay? But sometimes I can do some kind of cool things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a very small dining room table. Okay, this is going to be the base of our table. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it into a glass table. We're going into our chisel. We're gonna change this to glass. I like the white stained glass. I think it's gonna look really fresh on top of this. And now what we could do with this is we're gonna put one down right here. Then we're gonna drag this a little bit across to the top. Oh my gosh. This is looking absolutely gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. I have never, in all of my days of Minecraft, seen a table this cool or made a table this cool. <laughs> this is so awesome. Check out this miniature table. Now what we can do is we can actually make chairs for it. So I think what would be really cool, we should probably do lapis chairs to match the bottom of the table. Oh, you know what? No, we're gonna do lapis or chairs. This is going to be so epic. What are, these chairs look insanely epic. We're gonna go up a little bit more. I think that's, oh, that's a perfect size chair. I've never seen a chair more perfect. Now if we go into creative, we can grab what is called a little recipe. And with a little recipe, right click the first position and then the second position. Now in our hand, we are holding a little recipe. I know, big shocker, but it's called the little crafting table. And it's in our inventory. We could, oh my gosh, this is so big. I gotta hammer out a little bit of a bigger area. This thing is massive. There we go. Now that we've got this down, we can put our recipe inside of it and we can craft it. Now in our inventory, we have this multi-tile structure. Dude, this is me full size. Look, I'm like spying on this small little table. It looks hilarious. All right, we're gonna place down the tiny chairs next to each other and using the arrow keys on the keyboard, we can rotate the direction. You can even turn the chair upside down. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that, but that is really cool to know. Look at this. We now have a fully customized lapis table one of a kind underneath the noob's house above. Now that I've showed you guys all the epic features of these crazy mods, which by the way, are totally free and you can download them. I'll link them down below in the description, at least the name so you guys can search them for yourself. This is our entrance. And I wonder, can we make a tiny ladder? No, you can't make a tiny ladder. That would be so epic. But we can make a very, very tiny staircase leading to the exit of this area. And I think to make like, to make a really cool staircase, I kind of want to build it out of gold because gold is epic. Is there anybody right now watching this YouTube video that doesn't like gold in Minecraft? I didn't think so. Everybody likes gold. So we're going to make like the tiniest golden staircase leading all the way up to the tippity top. There's something about building with this mod in Minecraft that's way too satisfying. I just don't know what it is, but I love it. Oh, we're gonna be just perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this golden staircase, which we can totally, we can walk all the way up and boom. Then we have the area where we built down. Okay, so let's think about this for the bedroom. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to show everybody this, but you can do other shapes. You can do spheres, cylinders, walls. I don't know what, what is a slice? I don't know what a slice, oh, what? Wait a second. 
Wait, that makes this useless. Hold on, guys. We're gonna get rid of this staircase. We don't even need this. I'm a big dum-dum. We're gonna make a slice using gold. <gasps> oh, this is gonna look so good. Oh, dude, this is one million times better. Now you can literally just walk straight up it. No problems. It's symmetrically perfect. Dude, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, this, this is the play. That is the play. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. What I was wanting to show you guys was you can make spheres and you can make cylinders because these look epic. So I'm going to make my bedroom out of TNT because I love TNT. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dude, my house, my house is literally about to be the bomb. It is the bomb.com, ladies and gentlemen. So we can actually turn this into our bedroom. <gasps> Okay, look at this. When I made this TNT, it's hollow on the inside. So we could build another slice ramp to get inside of it. And I bet we could build it out of TNT. This might be the best mod that was ever invented in all of Minecraft. <laughs> this is so cool. Wait for it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my bedroom. That's right. My bedroom is a TNT sphere. Dude, this is, and I love that you can do this with a slice. You can even add on to this. You can make this bigger if you wanted to. It's literally the bomb. Like, I know I'm being a dad right now with these dad level jokes calling my, my bedroom the bomb. It's literally the bomb. I mean, what do you want me to say? So if this is going to be the bedroom, I think we need to build like a living room. Oh my gosh, you could build an aquarium inside of a wet sponge. Ooh, wait, can you do it in a cactus? Bruh, hold on. We are about to become the Mythbusters. Dang it. Okay, I was going to see if we could build our house inside of a cactus. As you guys know, I love cacti. But unfortunately, it doesn't work with the mod, which is so sad. And we do have our little miniature chairs from earlier if we wanted to place these down. We'll save these for later. So we got to do something about this. We are going to make TNT flooring, ladies and gentlemen. So when all of our guests walk in, they're going to get terrified and they'll be like, wait, it's just floor. Now, this is a problem. This is where we started building our tiny house underneath the noob. I've yet to see the noob log back in, so I want to see if we can create a little bit of chaos inside of his house. Uh, wait, I know what we could do. We can make a fake TNT wall. Inside of the noob's house, he's got this secret hut where he stores all of his diamonds, and what we can do to scare him from coming inside of here is we can make a fake TNT wall. He's got, oh my, dude, this is, wait. And and if we put pressure plates down, wait, will this actually blow up? Okay, it won't actually blow up. We have now tested it and we can do it on the other side. Bro, this is, this might be the best prank I have ever pulled on anybody in my entire life. I think that's all the entrance. Wait, dude, honestly, we should do this with the front of his house too. I mean, why not? We could do this to the end. <gasps> We can literally do this to the entire outside of his house. Does this actually work? It does! Dude, it looks like wallpaper! This thing, it's so easy! We're in a wallpaper layer of TNT. Anyways, back to our house. We gotta think of something to, like, cover up the entrance of our house. So in the meantime, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just use regular grass. We're gonna build a very small layer over the top. Kind of like what we did with the TNT. That way, nobody's going to guess that we are inside of here. Okay, so we haven't made a whole lot of progress yet inside of the house because I got a little bit sidetracked. I wanted to prank the noob. Can you blame me? I want to make a beach. So like inside of my house, I'm going to put down the water. We're going to use the little chisel. We're going to use some sand. And we're going to create this small, like, beautiful beach right here inside of our house. Oh, yeah, dude. This is so cool. Hmm. Okay, how do we make this even more epic? We're going to make beach chairs using wooden planks. So when anybody comes to our beachfront, they can come hang out with us. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, these are going to look so good when I'm done with them. Yes. It's really hard to get the size right, but I think this is perfect. Maybe we just go like a tad bigger over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, like this. This is perfect. Ooh, and I kind of like this design. Oh, we got some beach chairs. Let's get some more chairs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dude, that is awesome. We're going to attempt to make beach umbrellas for these chairs. This is my first time ever doing this, so don't make fun of me. We're gonna build these bad boys. We're gonna build these up a little bit higher than the chairs. They kind of look like fence posts. Now what we could do is we could get wool. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with a light. I think light blue just looks really good. It reminds me of the beach. 
And now what we could do is instead of using the box, we could try the sphere. This could be kind of weird. Hold on. Um, okay, that is not what I meant to do. Dude, honestly speaking, the sphere is really hard to control when you're building with it. So instead of doing the sphere, what if we tried the slice? Wait a second, hold on. I just found something else that's new. The line. This is very weird, but very cool at the same time. I don't think it's gonna work. Not for the umbrellas anyways. Look at the masterful creation we just made using the slice. Oh my gosh, these look like legitimate beach chairs. This is the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very small detail that in my opinion goes a very long way. That looks a million times better. And I bet you we could do that right here. We're gonna try anyways. It might look a little bit silly. Oh gosh. There we go, look at that. Ooh, boom shock, that's it. That is the design right there. We gotta think what do we wanna add to the tops of these? What about cop it? By the way, if you wanna see more tiny house videos like this, take the device you're watching this YouTube video on, turn it like this and make that red subscribe button great. Well, I wouldn't say this is my best work of art using this mod, but it, it could be worse. Okay, let's be honest, this is pretty, <laughs> this is pretty bad. But if you wanted to, we can paint it. Oh my gosh, it's like a see-through color. Come on, this is so slow. There's probably a much faster way to doing this. I'm just not doing it the correct way. Do not judge me. Now we build a little overhang around each section, just like this. I mean, we can't have people coming over here not giving them sun protection. That would be irresponsible. Now we gotta add a little bit of uh, some, some stuff up here. Oh, you know what we could do at the top? We should change this to yellow. Yeah, yellow concrete's gonna look bomb up here. Not a lot of yellow concrete, just a smidge, okay? Just a little bit. Yeah, bro, this looks so good. I mean, like, it's a work in progress, okay? So don't judge me. We can also make this area look a little bit more sandy. Like, if you want this to look more realistic, you can make, like, little pieces of sand over here. Because obviously, like, with the current size of everything, it doesn't look very realistic like a beach. Like, a beach would have a lot of inconsistencies in the sand to, well, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're just gonna add a little bit of realistic touches to our beach. We can add a little bit of blocks of sand back here, too. Why not? And, dude, voila, you have yourselves a beach underneath somebody else's house <laughs> i mean i would never recommend doing this in real life but this is epic <laughs> guys the noob has logged back on and he is currently right in front of his house i wonder what he's thinking about the tnt wall prank <laughs> he's freaking out he is freaking out right now okay look i hate to do this but we might need to put building on pause because the noob is back on his server because I know what he's about to do. I know the only way for him to fix this is to ask the pro for help. And if the pro logs on, 100% he's gonna know it's me and he's going to look for my name tag underneath the house. This is my tiny wife. Oh, are you ready, Bree? I'm ready and I uh, know I'm gonna win. No, you're not getting it. Okay, I have no idea where Brianna went, but as you guys know, you guys have to decide who won. The time is ticking, so let's begin. Look at what we can create, ladies and gentlemen, with this mod. Anything we want to, and we could create even hollow blocks of things if we wanted to live inside of them by using our tiny hammer. How incredibly cool is this? This might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. I'm gonna need everybody watching this video right now to charge me up because I'm so tiny for this episode episode i need you all to leave a like on this video especially if you think we are going to crush brianna in this epic build battle competition wait we can make a lava block house no there's no way this is about to be reality oh my gosh dude wait a second so you're telling me right now we can actually build a tiny house with a block of lava. This is literally a lava house. Oh, but when you go inside of it, you actually catch on fire. So what we're gonna need to do to fix this up is we need to place a different floor. So with our little chisel, we're gonna build a stone floor on the inside of this. We don't want our guests to go inside of our house and burn to death. That would probably not be a very good thing. Using our little chisel, we can actually make stairs by changing it to the slice mode. Watch this, it's so cool. Bedrock stairs to me are just really cool. So with this, we're gonna make a little miniature ramp so that when we go inside of our house, nobody is going to get set on fire. Wait a second. 
You can go through this? What? You can run through the house. So it is literally a block of lava that's just hollowed out that doesn't leak out to other areas. We are going to need to be very careful inside of here not to set ourselves on fire. Thankfully, we have creative mode, so that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to get rid of this dirt block. And what I want to do is I want to continue to add more and more levels onto our house. So now that we've got this epic first floor, which is probably going to be like our living room entrance, I want to build the next one out of water because I I think this is going to look so cool. I think I'm going to make an elemental themed house. So with this again, this is kind of a hack, but what you can do is you place blocks next to each other, build them up like this. Check this out. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that is so, <laughs> this, is, this is so cool. We can't place ladders down. That's the one unfortunate thing. If we break the ceiling, we can get to our water house. We have to find a way to build a staircase upwards. I think quartz looks really good. And what we can do with the quartz is we could build a miniature staircase that kind of wraps up. So check this out. This is going to be really hard to do. If we manage to pull this off, it's going to be so sick. So I'm going to make our staircase come out just a little bit, not too crazy. I don't want to be like too obtrusive, you know? <laughs> Dude! Guys, I think we are building the best tiny house Minecraft has literally ever seen, and I am so proud of it right now. When you're building a tiny house, you've got to put a lot of time into it. You just can't rush perfection, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is. You guys watching this video right now are the most perfect viewers in the whole entire planet. Look at this staircase, though. This staircase is perfect. I did not think this was going to work out as well as it's actually working out. Oh, man, we're almost there. We are almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. The staircase is complete. Just like the lava, the water block is hollow, which means we are going to need to add something to the walls. That way we don't drown when we have guests over. We do not want our guests to drown. That is, that's just not kosher. Building the world's tiniest elemental house is no easy job. It's very, very tedious, but I think the payoff is going to be so worth it because when Brianna sees this, she is going to think that we cheated with how awesome this is going to look. I now have a lot more sympathy for people who remodel houses and do all of the hard construction work because this is not easy and every small pixel block counts. I guess in real life that would be the equivalent to like a square meter or cubic inch. I don't know exactly how that works. Forgive me for my ignorance. Now that we've eliminated everything, what we can do is we can turn this entire area up here to quartz. That looks really good. We're gonna break the entire ceiling to the lava block that we placed down, and then we're just gonna replace it with quartz because I think it'll look a lot better. We are making history right here. Look at the history we are making. Yes! Oh my gosh, dude! Let's break this part. There we go. This is it. I love that we can see through everything, but this isn't even the best part because if we wanted to, we can actually add windows. So let's go back down to the first floor. We are going to erase a little bit of the lava blocks. I don't know about you guys, but I really like windows in my house. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the hammer to have a double cube size so we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I think we were kind of making it a little bit difficult with how we were doing things. We have spent 10 minutes already doing this very small thing to our house, but you gotta admit, this is very, very impressive considering everything is perfectly walkable. Like you can walk up in here, you can do whatever you want. We gotta decide what we want for the windows. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, I love this window design. This is where we go back to our teeny tiny chisel. Now we actually can use any kind of windows we want. I think for down here, orange stained glass is going to look really cool. Yeah, look at that. You can see through the house now, except for the fact that I made this uneven. That's kind of triggers me, but it's okay. We're gonna match it up on the other side. I'm in love with this house. If this house is in real life, I would move in tomorrow. And do me a solid, if you guys love this house as much as I do, take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, and make that red subscribe button gray. And if you don't, I will have to throw Floopy off the microphone. He's okay, I promise. We gotta make it cool down here. This looks pretty good. Can we do glowstone? <gasps> we can? Bro, are you kidding me? And we can do wooden planks. So we're gonna do oak wood planks. Watch this, guys. We've got our oak wood planks right here. 
Then we can hang our glowstone light fixtures. I think we'll do one piece of glowstone like this. Oh, this looks so cool, dude. It's like the detail is so crazy to what you can do with this mod. Wait, 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 hold on. This is totally off center. We've got to redo this. I, we're redoing the chandelier because my OCD was hurting me and it was not perfect. But now we are going to make it even better. Oh, dude. Yup, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The reason it looks so strange is because when you're building with this mod, it only builds like bits and pieces. So like if we do this, you can see it turns into a regular glowstone block. But if you place down like one piece at a time, it only places down that pixel of the block. It can look a little bit strange. And now that I think about it, we need a different ramp. You know, it's kind of a plebby ramp to go inside. What can we do that's gonna make it look even more epic? I mean, if we want to be really crazy, we can do diamond because why not? I think everybody watching this video right now likes diamonds. If you don't like diamonds, you're kind of crazy because diamonds are awesome. Yeah, okay, the diamond looks really good. Dude, if we wanted to, we could even decorate our floor and kind of go crazy with it. So we could break a few speckled pieces around in the floor. And if you wanted to, we could leave it like that. Kind of looks like Swiss cheese. I don't really like that. So I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it back to a box and then we're gonna change this i don't know what i'm changing this to okay this is a work in progress does in stone look good is this gonna look weird oh i kind of like it i don't hate this i think it makes our house look very unique okay this looks like we made some kind of brand new ore that's never been added to minecraft before right this looks like bronze ore if bronze ore existed in minecraft one thing that we need is like we need some chairs we can't have this big, beautiful house and not have any chairs to make this place feel like we are at home. We're gonna make us like a chase lounge. Oh, we can even add some arms to it. <laughs> this looks so cool. I think this part's a little bit too big. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Yeah, this looks much better. Plus, if we make it this size, we can make another one that is the exact same size. I'm gonna have it like a little bit more back up against the wall. Oh, dude, check it out, dude. Custom chairs made downstairs. That should be like a slogan for a new company. Now, do we wanna like change the color of these? Cause technically we can add pillows. Watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna change this to white wool. This literally looks like a sofa cushion, right? Does that look like a sofa cushion? Oh, I love these chairs. <laughs> Dude, my brain is like going a million miles an hour now that we've done all of this like design work for the house. But what are we gonna do up here? I think up here would be the perfect bedroom. I don't know, I feel like it's really relaxing to see all of the water. So before we build the bedroom, I think we should do a bedrock gate. We gotta keep people out that we don't want to come inside. Cough, cough, Brianna. And what we could do is we could switch it over to, wait, we could do a cylinder wall. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Wait, that's a cylinder, wait. We could use that for a table. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is our very, <laughs> very small, but efficient bedrock wall. Small but powerful, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dude, this looks so cool. I want the walls to be a little bit higher. Somebody could easily just literally walk over this wall, but if it's two blocks high, you can't just walk over it. So we're gonna keep adding on to our wall a little bit. On the back side, I think I'm gonna make it three pixels high. This is perfect. I don't know how to do this, but I wanna try to make a gate in the front. Oh, you know what? This actually looks really cool. Hmm, what goes on the top of our wall? Ooh, we could do TNT. Wait, is that gonna look weird? Oh, it kind of looks cool. These are small details that take forever to do, but in my opinion, they make the house look so much better. There is no chance Brianna's beating us right now. Like this, <laughs> this is so cool. Ooh, I like this little like, oh, yep, yep. This is making the fence look even better. Oh, ho, ho. yes. I love it. Wait, wait. We could draw on our house. What do we got to draw with it? We're going to use, wait, this might look really bad. So don't judge me. Yes, yes. Be honest, guys, in the comments. Is this making our house look more ugly? <laughs> or is it making it look even better? I, I, I don't know necessarily. <laughs> I tried spelling home. And it didn't work out, so I'm trying to spell house, but there is no room for the E. Uh, this is looking kind of scuffed. Be honest, how bad does it look 
It's supposed to be cool, okay? Companies misspell things all the time. You know, they wanted to look cooler. This is the house without an E and an exclamation point just so it is, uh, you know, um, symmetrical and it looks good. I don't know why we haven't done this yet, but we really should change our driveway out. It's looking kind of drab. What What is fancy? I mean, like, iron blocks are kind of fancy, right? Like, I like iron blocks. You like iron blocks? I love iron blocks. Yeah, look at that. Super fancy. You gotta have some grass. If you don't have grass in your yard, it looks a little bit strange. So I'm going to add all the grass back over here. You know, my house does not have a very large backyard, but it's home, okay? Okay, and that is what matters. After all of this time we have spent building this, we can finally move on to the bedroom. We're gonna build the smallest but the coolest bed ever. I think we're gonna use polished adenosite. We wanna put it down right here. Yeah, there we go. Boom, that's the bed, but we gotta get some pillows up here. Some white wool over here. Yes. I would sleep in this bed. This bed looks so comfortable. Oak wood for our small little bedside stands. We need a really cool backdrop. Maybe stone. I think stone. Like, we need some gray. Stone bricks, where are you? Why can I not find you? There you are, stone bricks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. I think we do need some more white wool over here. Just a little bit more to add to the detail. And I actually kind of like it. Oh, I like that way more, dude. Wait, I like all of this so much better. I don't think we could have made a better bed anywhere else. And if you want to get crazy fancy, add a slice to anything that you're trying to do. We can make little ramps over here, you know what I mean? Oh, this actually looks really nice in the middle. But instead, I'm going to do that with the white wool. Adds nice little small texture to it. Makes it look a little bit different. And then with this, we could go back to the oak wood, add it to the tippity top, and boom, looking fancy. Oh, yes. Who here is with me? I think we need a flat screen TV. Obviously, widescreen only. Oh, dude, look at this baller floating TV. Now, underneath it, we gotta add, like, some kind of, a. Uh, console area. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't just have, like, a floating TV. Let's go back to the black wool. Add some speakers over here. Big speakers in the corner of our house. Let's put some speakers above the bed. Some speakers above the TV. I think will look really cool. Yo, oh, dude! This looks so dope! To make it look more like a real TV, we gotta get some wool. Yeah! Boy! That, ladies and gentlemen, is a television. Speakers deserve to have some shelving in place. Some floating shelves over here. I like that. Yep, I love it. I mean, we gotta have a place to put all of our shoes, right? Guys, I think we are done. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Preston's tiniest two-story elemental house, complete with a gated fence, first-story living room, a second-story bedroom. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know because I'm stoked for this house. I think we are going to crush Brianna in the build battle challenge. Brianna, the time is up. Come check out my house. <gasps> oh, no. Bri, I can Wait. see a part of your house. No. No, wait, that's for my video. <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. If you, I'm shutting the door. Guys, if you want to see Brianna's house, you got to go to her channel, subscribe to it. Remember, this is a house build challenge. You got to watch both videos before you can decide which one is better. So, Brie, this... Preston, your house is tiny. It, well, okay, look. I'm kind of small, and uh, this house is only for me. It's not for us. So, <laughs> look, come check it out. You got to be kind of careful, but this... Why do I have to be careful? Did you no, there's no trap? trap. So, I do have a bedrock TNT fence. These are small pieces of TNT on the outside with a bedrock fence to keep intruders out. Then, if you go up my diamond staircase, you can see the oh, bottom of my living room. Oh, are you on fire? It's <laughs> so it's because my my walls are made out of lava. I've got oh. two little seating chairs over here along with some floating stairs. So if you come on up. All right. So on the second floor behind you, you will see the television with the double speakers above it. Are you sure that's the television? That it looks is. like a man's <laughs> face, a nose right here no, it and is, even a smile. It is a television set and you are standing on my custom one of a kind imported bed which has two other speakers above it with my shelves over here for my big shoe collection. I love shoes. So what do you think, Brie? Pretty sick? Preston, first of all, I need to know how you have water touching lava and nothing <laughs> bad is happening. Oh my god. 
That's really cool. I like it. Okay, it looks pretty sick. And today we are using our shrink ray to not only sneak past Unspeakable, but to build the world's tiniest house underneath Unspeakable's house. Looks like he just went upstairs. Now we got to find a place very quickly where we want to start digging underneath his house. We have to find the most seclusive location possible. I'm thinking like right here is very sneaky. There's no way he would notice us building the house right here or we're going to undo this. What if, wait, this might be perfect. We could technically, oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna do it in the water. Check this out, guys. We're going to mine into this corner block just like this. Okay, we have to be very, very careful. But if we could pull this off, check it out. From over here, you can't even tell. You cannot even tell that there's any blocks missing unless you were to come directly in here. But why would he do that? Guys, check it out. This is working perfectly. We are now beginning our underground tunnel to the tiniest house underneath Unspeakable's house. If you guys want to, I am going to link every single mod that I am using. If you guys want to use this against your friends, you are more than welcome to because it is so much fun. You can adjust the hammer size so you can break more or less blocks. I've got it set to a six right now, so we could perfectly go all the way down and notice how the water doesn't follow us because of how tiny the hole is that we made. This water literally cannot follow us down here. So now we just got to keep going deeper and deeper. We don't want to go too deep because I still want to see Unspeakable and monitor his movements as he's above us. Please leave a like on this video if you want to see more trolling videos on Unspeakable. This is where we get to have the most fun because we are going to try to build the first ever underground tunnel system inside of Unspeakable's house. Let me give you guys a tour. When you come down the hallway, look to your left. This is where we're going to be building our very tiny bedroom part of the house. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use our little chisel. Using the little chisel, select right here and go to slice and we're going to change this to red wool. As you guys know, my favorite color is red. Most of our merchandise is red because I, I love red. If you guys love red, let me see some fire emojis down below in the comments. Using the slice feature, we can then build a ramp into the house. Check this out. Boom! Now, I think this ramp's a little bit too big. I don't want the ramp to be, like, huge. I want it to be big, but it shouldn't be that big. I think this is the perfect size. Now, we can just literally walk up the ramp, walk down the ramp, no problem. Then, I think the, the, the next thing that's got to go, obviously all of these walls. We got to do something about the walls. I do not like having dirt and gravel walls. It is just pitiful, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody likes that in their house. I'm more of a modern guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use white wool with the box feature. And what we could do is we could select two different points inside of here, changing the walls all to white, including the ceiling. Unless we wanted to do a different color ceiling, we could try to do something really funny. Oh, I don't want to do we're gonna do orange flooring. Like, don't judge me, guys. I just love the color orange. I think it looks so cool. Like, how much better does this room already look? Now, I'm gonna go with a neutral color, so I think I'm gonna select the black wool because I think black wool looks awesome. We can put that on the ceiling. Oh, this looks so cool. Warning, this is probably a very highly flammable bedroom. So please, if you guys find my tiny house, do not bring any, don't bring anything like a candle, okay? Or a torch, because that is going to set my house on fire. Now, we're going to redo our little slice staircase we made earlier, because I want it to match. So now everything looks so cool, and you can still walk up. You can walk down very easily. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta add a little bit of black wool over here. So what do we want inside of our bedrooms, ladies and gentlemen? I know Unspeakable's above us, and it has me very nervous, but we can't let this stop. I'm thinking about building a massive bed, like a huge bed. I am a big fan of sleep, ladies and gentlemen. You need, you gotta get your sleep. Sleep is what keeps us healthy and keeps us alive, so never ever be judged for sleeping, okay? As you viewers probably know, I am a man of modern taste. I like the very modern home designs. So we're gonna do, we got four little legs for our bed, but I still like a splash of color. So we're gonna now do red concrete on the top. Ooh, look at that red concrete. This looking like a snack over here. Then we are going to make a giant, giant pillow. We're gonna raise that. Oh, dude, how comfy. Guys, in the comments right now, I wanna see you all rate my bed because I think it looks so comfortable. Dare I say it, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the most comfortable looking bed I have ever made in my entire Minecraft video career. <laughs> Guys, check out these tiny little nightstands I made right next to my bed. You gotta admit, they look really good. And just like that, the bedroom is complete. We must move on to the 
kitchen area. I know, big shocker guys. Once again, Preston being the modern man he is, we are going to be using chiseled quartz blocks to use and build inside of our kitchen. I think that quartz is probably one of my favorite blocks to build with in Minecraft. It just looks so clean. They need to put me on extreme home makeover on, what is that? What's it called? Is it like HGTV? I'm sure your sister or your mom probably watches it. <laughs> My mom and sister watch it all the time. Honestly, though, this is like, this is kind of so bright. It hurts my eyes a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. <laughs> now we got to use, okay, so now we got our block of iron because we got to build like a massive refrigeration system. I mean, we are trying to survive underneath Unspeakable's house without getting caught. And we can't do it unless we have ourselves a lot of food. It's so weird. Like you guys don't understand how hard it is to build with this mod until you use it for yourself. It's actually very difficult. What is this? Colored wooden plank. Hold on, guys. I have never seen this in my entire life, and I love it. The color is very similar to the scheme that I want to build our kitchen out of. First thing is first, we got to build some cabinets. Please tell me that you guys like these cabinets. I spent way too much time working on them and making sure they were perfect. Now, what do you need inside of a kitchen, ladies and gentlemen? You need burners because we got to be able to cook our food skadoodles. We mind add a little bit of this area here so we can add a couple of stove top burners. I love how this looks. It looks so cool. Just because we can, we're going to go the extra mile. We're going to get a little bit of the red, ooh, you know what, block of redstone. And in the middle, we're going to add it so it looks like a full burner. It kind of looks like a music CD disc, but I promise you guys, these are burners. And of course, course, we need to have control knobs for them. And then we're going to need ourselves a sink. Now, the unfortunate thing about the sink is I'm unable to put water inside of it because water does not, it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> you can't fit. I don't think you can spawn. Can you make, I'm going to see if we can put water. Oh wait, we can. <gasps> wait a second guys. Oh, oh my gosh. This just changed everything. I did not know that we could make tiny water. And with this, we can have a tiny sink. Look at that. Look at that tiny water faucet. That looks so cool. <laughs> Why am I geeking out over this? I don't know. Put some knobs over here for the sink. Okay, so wait, if we could do that, we could definitely make a trash can. Like, we gotta make like a little disposal area inside of here. If this works, I am going to freak out, guys. Now, the bad thing is this is made of wood, so I don't know if this is going to catch on fire. And if it does catch on fire, we are going to lose everything inside of our kitchen. So hopefully it does not happen. But inside of here, I'm thinking about putting a little disposal area. I don't know. Why do I love this so much? I feel like I shouldn't love this. Wait, does it actually set me on fire? Oh, it does. Okay. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Bad idea, guys. While I'm sitting here burning on fire, do me a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe tab. Take the device you're watching this video on. Turn it like this. Make that red subscribe button gray and enable those notifications. Survive with two hearts. Not bad, Preston. Not bad. Oh, I forgot. Okay. The most important part the freezer slash refrigerator. How did we almost forget about this? This is kind of a big deal. I'm gonna like etch out a small like handle. This is where a handle would go or maybe, wait, does this look better? Actually, I think that looks better. Looks like a giant handle to the refrigerator. Ooh, looks so clean. Okay, so we've got our freezer. We could cook our food over here. We've got our disposal, aka our little lava area over here. Now we gotta get a big kitchen table. Now, this room is very monochromatic, which means it's very, um, it's very bland right now. Like, there's no pops of color, so I am going to build, wait, dare I say it? Technically, we could build a lava table. No, okay, I'm not gonna build, if I built a lava table, that might be a little bit dangerous. We're not gonna do that, although I really want to. All right, so we're going for that modern table design. In order to have the perfect modern table, we are going to need to be very delicate about this process. I think this is gonna be enough to hold our table. It should. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm only putting these down here. These are gonna be like our selection points. Orange glass table. Coming right in. Ooh, I am a huge fan of this table. Now, wait, okay, now this is the delicate part. We've got to add plates. Now, the question is, how do we build chairs? <laughs> like, I'm a little bit worried about building chairs for this thing. That's way too big of a chair. Ooh, you know what we should do? Okay, before we build chairs for our table, we do need a pantry. I just realized we have no place to store our food. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hollow option with this chisel. 
put the pantry down right over here. So when you mine it out, it's actually going to be hollow on the inside. It's kind of like magic. Oh, and oh, dude. Okay, inside the pantry, we should probably add some shelves. Not too many shelves, just a little bit of shelves. You know what I get? Just a little bit of shelves. If we put too many in here, we won't be able to fit inside. And that would be, that would be a no-no. We do want to be able to fit inside of our pantry. And actually, we should make the shelves of a different color so they stand out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks so much better. Guys, I, I, I know I don't want to be that guy, but this might be the best tiny house build on YouTube. I don't think I've ever seen a better YouTube tiny house build. There probably is one, so don't link it to me. <laughs> but it's you gotta admit, this is looking awesome. You know what? The chairs are gonna take too long, so the last thing that is missing from our tiny house underneath Unspeakable's house is a secret diamond room where we could store all of our valuables and Unspeakable will never find them even if he manages to find our tiny house. This is gonna be really hard to pull off, so what I'm gonna do is inside of the pantry, I'm going to put the smallest hole, at like the smallest hole I can, and I'm gonna put it right here. And what this hole is going to lead to is a chest that has all of our insane valuables inside of it. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, demolition. I don't want to do this, but if we don't do this, I will not be able to put the chest inside of here. So we have to do a little bit of demolition. Then we gotta switch over to game mode. What we have to do is we have to break regular, so oh my gosh, we are, we, did we break? Okay, we did not break this. That is what matters, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so with our, we gotta go deeper with our hammer. Yeah, there we go. Okay, our hammer has gone as deep as I think we could go. That's it, guys. This is the secret hole. So what we could do, let's go into our inventory. We're gonna get two chests, and we're gonna... Oh, wait, can we open it? Oh, we might not be able... Okay, hold on. We might need to clear out. We gotta clear out above us. We do need to be able to open up this chest. If we can't open the chest, that is going to pose a little bit of a problem. Okay, yes! We can open the chest, guys! All right, so now what we gotta do, this is so epic! Big dude! Seal this area off completely so nobody knows it even exists. Nobody is going to notice this tiny hole. Because look, you have to go into it, right click, and then you can get access to your chest. So now we gotta get all of our diamonds that we've been saving up. There's also another trick to this chest. So if you have something in your hands and you try to right click it, like look, I'm trying to right click, I'm trying to open the chest, it doesn't open unless your hand is free. But if you manage to make it inside, look at all the lootations! This is insane! And I think what we could do to make this even more secret, maybe we should cover this up. I don't want Nathan to find this. I don't want you guys commenting on Nathan. Do not tell Nathan about this secret, guys. Okay, I will be very upset if you tell Nathan about the secret. If you tell Nathan about this secret, we can't be best friends anymore, guys. I just made the hole even more sneaky. The hole is now even more sneaky. This is the maximum sneaky level, guys. This is the time I remind you guys, if you make it to a brand new video within the first hour, I will read your comments and feature them down below. So make sure you guys get here in the first hour of a brand new video. Remember, do not tell Unspeakable what you saw here. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, but...